Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get unlimited fish in Red Dead Online that you can sell to make quick and easy money. So like probably a ton of you guys, I have been fishing a lot lately in Red Dead Online. I mean, it's just one of the most profitable ways to make money. However, there are some limitations. I mean, you can only catch one fish at a time. It does take, you know, a little bit of effort in order to get it done. And at the end of the day, some people might find it boring or slow. Well, today I've actually come across a method that will allow you to catch an unlimited amount of fish more than one at a time. And this is the best part. You don't even have to fish in order to catch them. So I saw this post on the Red Dead Redemption 2 Reddit by a user Connor Drew. He posted an image that was, won a bunch of fish without the effort of fishing, stand under a waterfall. Now he was in single player, but I recognized that waterfall. And I said to myself, well, if, if that works in single player, it's got to work in Red Dead Online. And sure enough, that's exactly what ultimately happens. So the location you're going to be looking for here is Whiny Yard Strait. And it's sort of at the intersection of Granite Pass, right above Widow Rock you're gonna be looking for this massive waterfall. Now, on top of the waterfall, there is a stream that you can access that is actually really great for catching sockeye salmon. Now, for this, I would recommend having a river lure, and if you do that, this is probably the easiest location to catch the sockeye salmon in the game because the width of the river is only like six feet wide, so every time you cast out, like the salmon are gonna instantly grab onto you, and when they do that, you have to reel in for like three seconds and then you've got yourself some salmon. So if you want to just stand on top and catch the salmon that way, you totally can. But there's a better way. And like I said, it doesn't even involve fishing that will allow you to get multiple types of fish, not just sockeye salmon, but more that you can sell to the butcher. So this next part is a little bit tricky, but I'm going to be showing you guys how we're actually going to go inside of that waterfall. So essentially what you wanna do is, if you are fishing on that river, go to the east. You're gonna go on the road a little bit until you see the path sort of shallow up a little bit, where you're able to ride your horse down. You essentially just wanna do a little bit of a roundabout going down one level until you can reach this entrance point to the actual waterfall itself. It's almost like a little hideaway that will allow you to go underneath. And if you go underneath, you might notice that fish instead of going down the waterfall, have fallen onto this little embankment. And they will actually allow you to pick it up and then you can ultimately grab the fish. Now there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. One way I've seen people doing is just simply going AFK where they'll put their character in rest mode. They'll go do something for five minutes and then when they come back, they'll end up collecting the fish. Now I have found this method to be a little bit less successful Sometimes it worked for me, but it worked a, a way less than the method I'm going to be showing you guys next. However, this all depends on your you know, personal play style. If you're doing chores or maybe you're watching Netflix, maybe that's the better way to go about doing it, especially if you want to go AFK. However, if you're still at your controller, there's definitely a better method in order to get these fish to spawn in. So what you're going to want to do is basically just do a giant lap. Now, you don't have to go very far just far enough to sort of get the fish to reset. So for me, I took the path to the left if I was facing away from the waterfall. And basically what I would do is just run down the path, I would circle around a rock or a tree, and then I would come back. And by doing so, I typically saw that either two, three, four, five, six, seven fish would be spawned there waiting for me. So even though this method requires you to sort of be active and still doing laps and grabbing the fish, uh, it is for the most part a little bit more effective than I noticed than just waiting on the fish to fall down the waterfall. And there is a ton of different types of fish that you can ultimately grab here. So you've obviously got the sockeye salmon, which is going to be the most profitable. Those again sell for $4.25 at the butcher. There's also bluegill as well. There's chain peckerel. There's smallmouth bass. There are so many fish that are going to tumble down this waterfall that you can ultimately grab. And once again, you just simply repeat this process over and over and over again. It's incredibly easy and the fish will just simply fall down to you. 
Now, a couple things to keep in mind here is number one, even though you can technically collect an unlimited amount of fish, you can only store 10 of them in your satchel. So I would say once you have 10 of each type of fish, you should move on, sell them, and then come back. Now, there definitely are some bonuses to just standing here and collecting them over and over and over again, but it's probably not worth it. You get honor points that will increase super easily. So every time you collect a fish, you're getting that resourceful honor bonus, which is quite nice if you are trying to rank that up. And you also get dead eye points as well. So this is something that will increase every time you end up doing this method as well. So again, lots of benefits here that go from a side of just catching the fish itself. Now, a couple of other tips that I can give you here, you're definitely going to want to use eagle eye, especially as it starts to get dark. Now, you could also attach the lantern to your hip. It does take a little bit longer to pick up the fish if you do that, but you'll be able to see a lot easier. This area gets super dark at night, so eagle eye is going to be your best friend in terms of identifying the fish because two things can happen. Number one, they can slip to the back of the waterfall where you might actually have to like go and find them and you might not think they were there. Or number two, they might fall down on this little embankment a little bit below. Now, I actually took a risk and I wanted to see if I could go down there and collect them because there was quite a number of fish down there. And the answer is yes, you can go down there and you can collect sort of the fish on that little mini embankment without slipping all the way down. So I'd say maybe after about 15 or 20 minutes, I had it. So I'd say after about 15 or 20 minutes, not only did I have a full capacity of sockeye salmon, I was also full of steelhead trouts from earlier, as well as the rock bass, chain peckerel, bluegill, all of those I was full on, which means that I could go straight to a butcher and then ultimately sell them, which we'll actually take a look at at the end of this video. Now, a couple of things to be aware about here. Apparently, this is becoming a pretty popular spot, so you might have to jump from lobby to lobby in order to find a place where you're going to be by yourself. So the reason this is not going to work with other players is number one, you're obviously going to be fighting over the fish, and that's just not good. Number two, you're probably gonna run into some hostilities, which is also not good. And number three, uh, it's going to mess up the spawn of the fish too. Because the spawns are like super particular where when you leave, they spawn in, it might end up messing things up. So it's best to do this by yourself, solo if possible, or with a friend that is there to assist you only. And as I sort of mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you, you know, fill up on all the other fish, but you need one or two more sockeye salmon, well, just go back up top and you can actually find yourself that stream that I was talking about that actually leads down to the waterfall that will allow you to catch them pretty instantaneously. So that's a great way to fill up on those, which again are the most profitable of the fish that we're gonna be catching today. Now, a couple of other tips I can give you about this location. Number one, just be careful in general. It is a very steep slope. Uh, there was a couple times where I almost fell off and that was horrifying. So do be careful about that because you obviously don't want that to happen to you. And also make sure your horse is in a good spot as well where it's not going to run off or anything like that because if it does, there's a good chance you might not be able to call it back in. I was having this issue earlier where my horse either ran off or because of the area I was in, uh, it couldn't find me. So hitching your horse before you start this would probably be in your best interest. Something I wish I had known uh, before I ended up starting this money-making journey. So now that we've gotten through all of that, and let's say hypothetically you filled up all of your fish, now we need to go to a butcher and sell. So for this, I would actually recommend joining a new session. It's really tough to get to places from this area. So just like respawn somewhere and hope you get close to uh, a town or a city. And uh, from there, you just simply want to go to the butcher. All right, so as you guys can see here, I've arrived at the butcher, and these are the fish that I have available to sell. So smallmouth bass can sell for $2 each, so that's quite nice. You can see here the rock bass sell for a dollar each, so having 10 of those is 10 bucks. The perch also sell for a dollar each. Our steelhead trouts, those sell for $4.25 each, so you get $42.50. Sockeye salmon, again, those are your two big boys right there, $4.25 each. 
The bluegills are going to sell for 75 cents each and the chain peckerels are going to sell for a dollar each. So all in all, you've got like well over, you know, $125, $150 here that you can actually get and sell. And like I said, that took maybe 15, 20 minutes of really not doing a whole lot. Like I had a podcast going on in the background. You can have Netflix going on in the background. I mean, it's incredibly easy. And it's something I would recommend. And it does come with a lot of extra perks and bonuses as well. So for now, this is one of the most profitable ways to make money in Red Dead Online. Catching fish without actually fishing in an unlimited supply. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Is this something that you have taken advantage of in Red Dead Online? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily at Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.